Hey guys, it's Jeremy, and today we're going to talk something uh, kind of important. It's called the six dimensions of human consciousness. Consciousness, 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 consciousness. I, I haven't found a better name for it yet, so if you have a better name, feel free to offer it. I may steal your kung fu, uh, but I reserve all rights and legal entitlement and blah, blah, blah. All right, so here's, here's what the idea is, the, uh, the six dimensions of human consciousness. The idea of this really comes from my martial arts background and engaging with different families over the last 20 years and seeing just how and where they find challenges and where they're getting growth and where they get synergies and amplify. So the idea is pretty simple. And we're going to just categorize our whole entire life in six major areas. Number one, down here at the bottom, your physical fitness, your physical intelligence, your physical health. That's kind of the key because you know, all the money in the world, you're going to die next week. Money doesn't really mean a whole lot anymore. So we begin with the idea of developing your body, developing your physicality. Now, that doesn't mean that everybody has to be able to bench twice their body weight or run a marathon. It's the idea of maximizing the health you have in a reasonable way and continuing to grow, right? And guys, um, specifically for you, after 30, you need to be stretching much more often than you do. And by 40, it's kind of, you need to stretch almost every day because your body starts to stiffen up, it starts to tighten. So you want to keep it loose and limber and supple for the things you need to do in your life. Number two, next one up, is going to be mental intelligence, your mental growth, your mental capability, and your mental health. And it's making sure that you're learning and expanding the things that you know. So are you reading uh, at least, you know, a couple of books a year? Are you increasing your mental capacity? Are you doing, you know, games to help you improve your mind, mental exercises, things like that? The more you learn and use your brain, the better it gets at being used for learning. So it's a skill that we want to spend time on. Next one up the chain, emotional health. So how are you connected to your feelings? Are you walling things off? Are you resisting things inside yourself? Because whatever you force away or try to make wrong is going to continue to continue to press on you and give you grief. You learn to accept the things that are a part of you and accept the stories and th accept the things that happened. You can learn to transform that energy and free it up into other areas of your life. So also the idea of your emotions is how connected are you to the people in your life? Do you wish that you had a better relationship with so-and-so or such-and-such? -such? Great. Send them an email. Send them a letter. Call them. Go visit them. Right, well, they might not be open to it. Yeah, but they might. And throw the shot out there and see what happens. Take the shot is the idea. Number next, spiritual health. And this is not to get religious or woo-woo, but it's the idea of what's the energy behind the things you do? What's the greater purpose of your life? And how connected are you to that greater purpose? Right? If all you are is work and grind and grind and work, and you don't really have a sense of what it's all for, what's the purpose, or how what you do triples, uh, trickles down into infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond! So it's the idea, though, of, of that greater sense of yourself and the, and the life you live and the impact you're making for future generations. How alive are you in that area? How connected are you? And it's really about beyond yourself and your immediate family. It's more for the world and for the rest of humanity. Now, we're going to jump from here over the other side to number five, your financial development, your financial cultivation. So just how you doing money-wise. So we've got physical, mental, emotional, social, and then jump the chasm over here to financial because here's the deal. If you've got all the money you could ever want, but you're a jerk and you're out of shape and you're unhealthy and you just grind and grind and grind, what's the point of all that money? It's not going to do you any good. It's not going to remove your suffering. It's not going to help you to have a happy life. On the other side, if you have you know, a great body, a great mind, great emotions, a great spiritual sense, and you have no money, it's going to be hard to make positive impact on the world. Right? You want to go save the forest, save the trees. Great, but no money, you're going to have to chain yourself to a tree. So you chain yourself to a tree, how many trees do you save? And so then you go save another tree, you've got to unchain yourself, they come get the one you were just on. See the problem? But what if you became a billionaire and bought the forest? Oh, I could save a lot more trees that way. So it's the idea of, you know, the money helps to amplify everything that's going on, but it's not a cure-all, be-all, because you go back to those intangibles, your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual development, that's going to link it all together. The bridge between physical, mental, emotional, so, uh, spiritual, and financial, the bridge of that is your relationships, right? I call it the relationship area of your life. Yeah, I made that up. So the relationship, you have three kinds. You have personal, professional, and intimate. And the idea there is recognizing, you know, what are the rules, how do you engage, how are you growing and expanding, and how are you creating win-win games for you and for other people in your life. Personally, your friends and that kind of stuff, your professional situation, and then in your intimate. And for some people, intimate may be immediate family, it may be just one special person, but it's the idea that you have growth in these areas and you're feeding and nurturing and expanding these areas, being aware of these areas. 
because now you've got these six pieces. Think of any area of your life that doesn't fit into one of these six categories and you're not going to find any, right? They all fit. Everything fits into these six. So now how are you growing and expanding? And so when Autumn and I are doing uh, consulting with people or doing advisement, you know, we are really analyzing and getting into what's going on in those six areas because the more clarity we have, the better we can make an impact, the better we can make an improvement. Thank you for your time. I hope this added some value to your life. And feel free again to, to share, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, you're welcome to come join us over on Facebook. We have the uh, Parenting Program Mastermind, where parents are able to come in and ask some questions. And if you have a challenge in an area of your life, you realize these six areas need some work, fantastic. Give us a call. We'll get in touch. We'll work with you. Uh, do a 30-minute consult for free and see where we could add some value into your life and make some improvements. And then you can take that information out into your life and multiply that knowledge. Okay, you make it an outstanding day, and we will see you when we see you. Keep playing the games to win.